The end of the year features the best meteor shower of the year. Meteorologist Corey Smith explains what you will be able to see. We've made it to the end of the month, which means once again, it's time to take a look at the night sky here across the Midlands for the month of December. Before we get into things, we got some really awesome pictures in from our nighttime weather watchers really over the last week of the moon over the region. First off, you can see the full moon and also the gibbous moon from two of our watchers that we got in some absolutely great photos. And then we also got some really cool atmospheric optics involving the moon from a couple of our other weather watchers, including the lunar corona as well as an ice halo that we saw just a couple days ago here across the region. As you go through the month of December, there's going to be a lot to look at, so let's dive into what you can see. We're going to start things off with the International Space Station that moves over the Midlands next Tuesday at 6.30 p.m., an absolutely great pass, about six minutes long, so make sure to get outside as long as the weather conditions are looking good. On the morning of the 9th, you'll be able to see the crescent moon and Venus in the eastern sky. It should be pretty visible and pretty easy to spot as well in our morning hours. Let's move on to what, in my opinion, is the spectacle of December, and that is the Geminid meteor shower, which peaks towards the middle of the month, more specifically on the 14th. This meteor shower typically sees around 120 meteors per hour in dark locations. If you're in the city, though, you'll see some reduced amounts, but enough that if you go outside and it's clear, you'll see some meteors taking a look at the night sky. So make sure to get out on the 14th, that's a Thursday night, to take a look at this shower. It's the best one that we're seeing in 2023. As we head towards the very end of the month, we have our full moon for December that's going to be on the 26th, known as the cold moon. And that's one thing to keep in mind. We do see some pretty cold nights during this time of the year, so make sure to bundle up when you're taking a look at the stars. Let's break down the next seven days, what we can expect for our sky cover as we go into the nights. And right now, not looking great, at least for the next seven days. We have a lot of cloud cover and even some rain moving through. But I think by Tuesday for that International Space Station Pass, we should see some clearing here across the Midlands. If you get any photos, any videos, or have any questions about what we talked about here today, you can send those in to us on social media. I'm News 19 WLTX meteorologist Corey Smith.